You talking to me? Are you talking to me? Hey, hey everybody. And welcome to Mode of Cosmic Therapy. We are delighted to be here. We've got a special group of young ladies this morning and we're all excited, aren't we? And we'll start and let them introduce each one of their gorgeous selves. We'll start over here. Diamond, Brittany, Brianna. Yes, we are so happy, right? Yeah. Happy, happy. How do you spell happy? H-A-P-P-Y. H-A-P-P-Y. And today is July the 7th, 2009, and I am Paula Andrea Pyle. And I'm glad to be with you today, just like these beautiful young ladies are. This is going to be an exciting show because, as always, with Mode of Cosmic Therapy, we don't have a clue as to what we are going to do or how we're going to do it or what we're going to say or anything. Right, girls? You have no idea what I'm going to ask you, what you're going to be saying, what you're going to be doing. But we're going to be showing again how life is interconnected and everybody is connected to each other and nothing is separate. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right, Brianna? Yeah. Okay. Well, the first thing we're going to do, because Bridget will be back with us next week, usually she draws a piece of paper out of this tin. So you do that. Brittany? And Brianna? Okay. And what we're going to be doing is showing how, within this hour, whatever is on their papers, I'm going to draw, draw one too. But whatever is on their paper, this particular hour, the segment, everything that we do or say is going to be connected to what you say. And it gets real exciting. Doesn't it get real exciting? Doesn't it get real exciting? It gets real exciting. <laughs> Let me see a smile. Smile? Smile? <laughs> okay. Real exciting. So we're going to start with Diamond. And Diamond, what does your paper say? Your memory is way to distort to recall many elements of truth. Wow, your memory is way too distorted to call, to what? Recall. Recall. Any element of truth. Any element of truth. So what I usually do too, let me get me a book because I'm going to give y'all one too in just a minute. And we're going to be writing down stuff. Um, here, take a notebook. There you go. There's one for you. And anything that, I love to do this because, what baby? Yes, you can have a notebook too. And whatever jumps out at you, whatever word jumps out at you, you just write it down. You got it? I like that pen the best. I ain't giving you that pen. Here, you can have that pen. You have that pen. You have that pen. Okay, now whatever, just like what you just read, Diamond, what was something in that sentence that jumped out at you? What word? Distorted. Okay, you write that down, sweetie. In my particular case, when you read it, you write, just write that word down. Y'all don't have to because you're going to be reading your own thing, but your word is distorted. D-I-S-T-O-R-T-E-D. Okay, and now, honey, while she's doing that, I wrote memory down. And we're going to see in this hour how we're talking about distorted memories. Because even though y'all are children, even in recalling things, your mind forgets some things, some things get sad. Ah, oh, how do you like that sentence? Some things get sad. Some things are exaggerated when we remember them and our memories are selective. So we remember what we want to and we forget things we don't want to remember. You agree with that, Brianna? Okay. What's your sentence say, baby? Abandon the false sense of goodness about yourself you, you so easily identify with. Wow. Okay, read that again. I like that one, Brittany. Read Abandon it. the false senses of goodness about yourself you so easily defended with. Okay, so what word jumped out at you of your sentence? Which one? Um, so identify. Identify, okay, you write your word down. All right, I wrote down goodness. Now, whoa, now let's see what we've got here. You got a big one, don't you, baby? Okay, you wanna start? You are. Let me see. Confusing the pen with the lessons that causes it to it be grateful for whatever seems uh -huh. to, 
to hurt. It's the only way to learn. Learn. True. True. Liberation. Liberation. Okay, let's do it again. Let's read it together. You, you are confusing the, the pain, pain with the lessons that causes it. Be grateful for whatever seems to hurt. It's the only way to learn true liberation. Okay, what word jumped out at you, baby? Um, grateful. Grateful, all right. Wow, that word jumped out at you, so that is how, look, grateful, that's how you spell that. Okay, grateful. So we are, hold this. Now, with distorted, distorted, Diamond, distorted. We're talking about a day that is distorted. What in the world could distorted mean? Um, messed up. Messed up, very good, write it down, okay? And we identify, sometimes we identify with that messed up feeling, don't we, Brittany? Okay, so you tell me what you think identify means to you. Um, something that you see. Something that you see, write that down. Did, did you write down whatever, what you got, babe? Messed up, okay, grateful. Brianna, grateful. What in the world does that mean, darling? Um, like being nice to someone. Ooh, I like that. Y'all like that? Being nice to someone. Okay, write the word nice. I like that. Nice. Okay, so, so far, what we've got, we've got words that are distorted. Yes, darling. Nice. N-I-C-E. I. C E. Grateful and nice. So what we've got is distorted and messed up. We've got identify something that you see in a person. We've got grateful and nice and we've got memory, goodness, and nice. Okay, Diamond, the next thing that I want you to do is choose a marker. You choose a marker. You choose a marker. And I'll choose a marker. All right, and what we're gonna do now is, what you got, baby? Messed up and distorted. Draw me a face that's messed up and distorted. We got the same color. Okay, and you're gonna draw me a face that is grateful and nice, and you're gonna draw me a face that is identify and something that you see in a person. And I'm gonna draw a face that has goodness and memory and nice in it. Okay? That's what I'm gonna do. Does it have to be big? Honey, it can be any size you want it to be. It's your face. Okay? Do you like to have a body or just a face? Just a face. If, do you want it to have a body? You can have a body if you want it to have a body. Okay? Let me see. Woo! These are some good pictures going on here. Very good pictures. And while they're drawing, let's see what's going on with the day. Okay? This is something I wrote down. I usually write down. Bridget and I talk about it. But today is 7709. What's your birthday? What's your birthday, sweetie? November 12th. Okay, write that down. What's your birthday? February 5th. Okay, and what's your birthday, sweetie? August 25th. August 25th. And. February the 5th and November the 12th. Now, astrologically, what are you, sweetie? Scorpio. And what else? What animal are you? Uh, Ox. Yeah. Okay, write those two things down. What are you, sweetie? I'm, I'm an Aquarius dragon. Aquarius dragon. Mm. And what are you, baby? A Virgo horse. A Virgo horse. All right. Now, in that picture, what I want you to do next, you got to draw... What you, it, it doesn't have to look like that or it can look like that or whatever you want to do, sweetie. Draw an ox, you draw a dragon, and you draw a what? Horse. That's right. And I am a cancer dragon. So we got two dragons on the set today. Woo!
Okay, let's see. Today is 7709. Put that at the top of your paper. 7709. All right. And it is Tuesday. The rulership today is Mars. Let me show you how you do a Mars. Let's do this while we're doing this. Uh-oh, I'll just drop somebody's. Here's a Mars sign. On your paper, I want you to do this too, okay? That's a Mars sign. So incorporate it on your paper. Mars. Oh, I love your horse. Brianna, that's beautiful. This is a Mars sign, okay? So put that on your paper. Let me see what else we're talking about today. We're talking about the moon sign is Capricorn, all right, and uh, the belief that you can be any different or better or worse than you are. Now, Diamond, the belief that you can be any different or better or worse than you are. Do you believe that you can be any better or worse than what you are right now? Um. Okay, explain why. What do you think? And which one? Do you think you can be better or worse? Both. You can be both. I like that, honey. Talk to me about it. How can, tell me how you think you can be better or worse. Better by approving and... Okay. You mean your own approval? Yeah. Okay, not someone else's. Not someone else that tells you whether you're better or worse. All right? Because that would be a distorted. You see that? Distorted. And if you listen to somebody else telling you that you should be better or worse, you'd get messed up, wouldn't you? There's your two words already. All right? And you, honey, what did I just say? Oh, the belief that you can be any different or better or worse than you are. Brittany, can you be any different, better, or worse than you are right now? No. All right. Put that word down there. And why? Why do you think you can't be any better or different? Now, you see, Diamond feels differently, but that doesn't mean she's right or, she, or you're wrong, huh? Everybody has what? Their own. Their own ideas. So you say, no, you cannot be any better or worse or different. Now, defend that, honey. Why do you say you can't be any better or worse or different than you are this moment? Because I'm myself right now. She is herself. Did you hear that? She is herself. So you're going to write down on that paper, you are yourself. And when you're looking at somebody else, what do you see in the other person? You're writing. What do you see in somebody else? Yourself. Oh. Yeah? You see yourself because you said you can't be anybody different, right? So when you're looking at somebody, because your words are, you identify in something that you see in a person and you see yourself in others, right? Did I put those words in your mouth or is that what you were saying? Okay, now we're coming over here, baby. You ready? Do you believe that you can be any different, better, or worse than you are this moment? Better. You can be better? Okay, how can you be better, sweetie? By what? What can make you better? Or can you be better? I can be better. You can be better? Okay, how can you be better? How can you be better than you sitting in that chair right this minute? Um. I can draw better. Okay, you can draw better, all right? So you want to say that in your lifetime, you want to learn how to um, hone. You like that word? Hone. That means work on. You know, like if you're drawing, learn how to draw better faces that you like, okay? But if you drew a face, let me see your face. Hold up your face. Hold up your face so people can see it. Okay, this is Brianna, and that's a grateful, nice Brianna, and that's her horse. But you're saying as your life goes on, you want to draw better faces. But it, right now, right now, because you're six years old, you couldn't, could you draw a better face than that? You could? Or is that the face that you can draw? I can draw a better. You 
pen? Okay. Will you draw a better face then? On the back or on the front? Wherever you want to draw it, honey. All right. Next. Okay. Yes. Can we change the color? You certainly can change colors. You can do anything you want to do. All right. Here we go. Now we're talking about how our feet never lie. Diamond, our feet never lie. Wherever we are supposed to be, our feet will take us there. All right? Tell me about it. Why? Tell me how that can be true. Uh, well. Okay. Mm -hmm. How can your feet take you where you need to go? They... They walk in that direction? Yeah. But don't you, what about if your mind told you that you were somewhere you were not supposed to be? Who would be right, your feet or your mind? Your feet? Right. Because you're there. You're here today. You're here right now where your feet are at. Your feet have brought you to this place. Now your mind could say, well, I, I, I'm not supposed to be here. Oh, I just made a mistake. Is that true? Why? Because your feet are here. That's right, honey. That's absolutely true. Okay, Brittany, you give me a, uh, your insight on it. How can you be anywhere other than where you are, where your feet are at? Well, your feet tell your mind where like, you want to go, and then, and then it just takes you there. That's right. So you can't argue. You cannot argue where your feet are placed, can you? But if you're thinking about yesterday or last week or tomorrow, then actually your mind is not where your feet are, are they? So it's real important to be where your feet are. Where are you at right now, Diamond? Here. And where's here? In Raleigh. Okay, where are you at, Brittany? In Raleigh. Okay, where are you at, Brianna? In Raleigh. And where at in Raleigh? Where are you at right this minute? 